beautiful unicorns and welcome back to my channel and this video that is kind of a, like a continuation of the video where I was talking about makeup prices in uh, Sweden and I, I love the feedback on that video thank you so much I had so much fun reading your comments hearing what the prices were in your country I had a lot of fun and I got a lot of questions like so where do you buy your makeup and I've gotten some of these questions before so I thought that we'd do a video like where I buy my makeup and how I save money on makeup because not really it's still expensive but like where I buy my makeup and I know you wanted to hear about uh, brands in Sweden and I will do a video about that you also wanted to know about brands that I want to try and buy from that I can't like a wish list of things that I can't get my hands on and I think I'm gonna film that as well but in this video I'm gonna talk about where I buy my makeup and I know a lot of you are asking me if I have a P.O. box and I have an American P.O. box but I don't have it open because I have to pay <laughs> I have to pay shipping from that P.O. box to Sweden I might get a Swedish P.O. box I don't really know but nobody has to send me any gifts okay I know that makeup is pricey here but nobody has to send me any gifts and I still do I mean it happens and Thank you so much if you were like even thinking the thought, but nobody has to buy me any gifts. So I don't have a Swedish P.O. box, but I have an American P.O. box and it helps a lot. I always have the link to where I have my P.O. box down below and it is a place where I don't pay for it unless I use it. So I don't pay a monthly fee or I don't pay a startup fee. They just basically give me an American address. I use that when I shop in U in US and they ship it to this warehouse and then they send me an email saying hey we got your package and normally you can get like free shipping in US or like at least like other kinds of discounts on shipping that you can't get when you ship it internationally so I can save on shipping like that I still have to pay customs but let's say I order from three places and I save on shipping so instead of I get free shipping. So instead of paying $20 for each package to go to Sweden, which would be $60, I would pay like maybe $30 to get all of those three shipped to me. But the savings doesn't kick in until I get like at least two, three, four packages. That's when I start saving up. At the place where I'm using right now, they charge me as if they would send all of the packages uh, separately so let's say I, I want to ship out three packages uh, they will charge me for three packages so maybe I'll pay $60 and then they will repackage it and I will get the money back that was like because I do save money because they will pack it in one package and it will be like no sorry it was only $30 and they would give me my $30 back that's basically how it works shipping has gotten really expensive though so I have to say that I am getting a bit tired of buying things from US because it's just too much money. It's too much money and I don't, I'm not that happy with paying for shipping of things and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna be salty but it is very expensive and I only buy, do this nowadays for things that I really wanna get my hands on that I can't get here. Like Wet n Wild and Elf, it takes them sometimes years to get here with new things. I buy from Juvia's because I want to get the things before they come to Beauty Bay because I don't want to wait. Sometimes it takes forever. I mean, Beauty Bay hasn't even gotten the Deuce palette yet. So I do it for some brands, but I could do it for a lot more things, but I don't because it's just too pricey and I don't feel like it's worth it. I would say my top places where I buy makeup is Cult Beauty, Feel Unique and Beauty Bay love those three places they are all in the in the europe they're all in europe and in the european union so i don't pay customs and normally i get free shipping this is amazing this is amazing this is what i want this is so 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 good and those places are the places i buy most of my things from they have dose of colors they have color drain Feel Unique has Urban Decay cheaper than if you buy in Sweden because there are Swedish stores as well that carry makeup but Feel Unique will have them before the Swedish store and normally at a more discounted price. Um, some places I buy the makeup from directly, for example NARS has a European site that you can buy their stuff from and they will ship to Sweden. Nowadays 
if I don't buy from those three sites, if I want to buy something else, I would either buy it at the Swedish store Kix, which is like our Ulta because it has prestige brands and it also has what would be considered more affordable bands like Maybelline and L'Oreal. Uh, and they have MAC as well and they also have Urban Decay and they have NYX. They have a bunch of brands and that's that's where I get my NYX and that's normally where I get like my Laura Mercier if I want to get that or MAC I get from there. Also MAC has a Swedish site. Um, if I want to get uh, something from Sephora, I do order from Sephora Sweden because Sephora France and Sephora US doesn't ship to Sweden since we have a Swedish Sephora but our Swedish Sephora is pretty... yeah it's pretty pitiful. We just got the Sweet Peach collection and I'm not even interested in buying it, but we just got it. <laughs> so they are very behind, but some things they do get pretty fast. I mean, they did get the Bad Gal Bang mascara when it was released in the rest of the world. We do get the Fenty releases when it releases in the rest of the world. Normally the Becca releases come to us really fast and the NARS releases normally come really fast. Also the Makeup Forever ones normally come really fast. Some things never reach us, which is annoying. Kat Von D and Too Faced takes forever. And it's so annoying, it's like, it's giving me the vibe like we don't really care about you. We just want to sell our products in in, in US and whatever's left we'll send to Europe. <laughs> because normally it takes months and months before it reaches us. And when I buy from indie brands, a lot of people ask me like, where do you buy Luxie? Where do you buy Davina? Where do you buy Sydney Grace? Indie brands, I always buy from the brand directly. Even if I can buy it from other places, I will buy it from the brand directly because that will give them the most profit. And in the brands, I buy them because I think they're awesome, because I think in the brands are doing something really good and they're doing it right. But also they will get the most profit if I buy from them directly and we can cut up the middleman. And I want to support in brands because when you're supporting an in brand, you're supporting someone like putting their kids through school and paying rent and stuff like that and that's what I want to help them with. So I always, always buy directly from the indie brands. If they have an Etsy shop, if they have a website and an Etsy shop, that's what I want to say. I always buy from the website because Etsy takes a large cut out of their like provision or like from their profit from what I've understood. So I try to, if I know that they have a shop as well, I will buy from the shop instead of Etsy because I know that Etsy can be pretty harsh with the, their fees, to be honest. And yeah, I think that was everything. Like that is where I buy my makeup. I know that people ask me and there is a bunch of things that I've just given up on. Like I'm not going to be able to buy this because it's not going to reach my country. Um, a bunch of things that I just and a bunch of things that I probably could get my hands on if I really tried if I really looked for it but I don't want to buy like drugstore makeup like American drugstore makeup and ship it to my PO box and then ship it for a lot of like a big cost to Sweden because then it's not affordable anymore and it's just a bit annoying. I did it for with Elf and Wet n Wild once because I bid like a big order from Elf and a big order from Wet n Wild because I wanted to try a bunch of stuff but it's not something that I would do like all the time and I know I know a lot of places have like hauls all the time and they buy new stuff all the time and I don't because it's not that easy. I mean new stuff when new stuff launches in US it can take months before it reaches me and that is basically the reason why I started buying a lot of indie makeup because that was the only brands that were like catering to the whole world at the same time so I could review and try and use the products at the same time as everybody else in any other country and yeah that was one of the reasons. Anastasia Beverly Hills is really good at getting the things here pretty fast as well. I have to say the soft uh, glam or clam palette is already in Europe and I'm not interested in buying it but she's normally pretty good at getting things here pretty fast but I wish that brands were better because or maybe it's good that they're not better. I will buy more makeup if things got here faster. 
So maybe it's a good thing that they they don't because I sometimes like my need for makeup is being like fulfilled just by seeing other people swatch it, use it or view it. And then I feel like I don't need to have it. Do you feel like that sometimes as well? And then when it reaches us, I'm like, nah, you know what? I'm already tired of this. Never saw it in real life, never swatched it, never used it. But I feel like I've, I've, I've had my share. <laughs> If you have any more questions about makeup shop in Sweden, do let me know. We do have some Swedish makeup brands and I am going to talk about that in the video. I don't personally use that much makeup that is Swedish or Scandinavian brands, but I will talk a bit about that in the video because I think it's interesting and also a couple of those brands you can actually find in other countries as well. So. I will talk about that, I will touch on that in another video, but if you have any other questions on where I buy my makeup, I've already talked about how much it costs here, because it is more costly, and even if I buy it from US, I do have to pay shipping and taxes, so I never get makeup cheap. No makeup is cheap. That, that's just basically it. So yeah, I think that was it. If you're not subscribed to my channel and you'd like to be, the button is down below. I do upload quite a lot of videos, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!